Yeah, they said we got we got a franchise up here to do, and one yeah. monkey ass Jason Statham don't stop. No, it's the a transported name that makes these. Fuck movies. yeah, exactly. We'll get we'll get another British dude. Yeah, looks mm-hmm. good in a black and white suit. Interchangeable. Exactly. You know, got a little muscle on him. Yeah. Maybe not as much as Jason Statham, yeah. but so what, man? Make, make him a little prettier. Yeah. Make him younger. Shit. Yeah. Some yeah. people Keep can't around even, longer. Exactly. Some people can't even tell the difference. <laughs> so now we got Transporter Jr. over here. This time we have uh, Ed Scrine. You might remember that boy from uh, Game of Thrones. He returns as the driver. Frank, what is, what's his name? Frank somebody? who oh, Frank who gives Frank, Frank, Frank who gives a Frank, yeah. Whenever you want something done, you got a package that, you know, you have to have delivered on the down low. UPS can't really do that yeah, shit. You some know, black market type Yeah, shit. FedEx, you can't call them. Yeah. You when know, it's got. It absolutely guy, has to be there on time. When yeah. it absolutely, positively has to be there illegally, yeah. you call the transporter. And he has just a few rules. He says, look, as long as I don't know who you are, I don't know what's in that fucking package, and you get here on time, we cool. And this time, it's a bunch of girls who come in. They're prostitutes for this Russian gang, and some fuck shit happens after that. I can't tell. You. I don't like. You know, I I really I'm not gonna waste no time telling you because to be honest with you, I don't know what the fuck happens after this dude starts driving. All I know is he's got some fine ass girls. They want to get back at these pimps because they've been wronged, and from that point on, ridiculousness ensues. Pimps and hoes is what this is about. Pimps and hoes. This is an HBO did, documentary? Did you not see it? <laughs> no. No, oh, he didn't go see it. Okay. <laughs> no, that's, that's what he's delivering. He's delivering hoes. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. It's a kind of re- a revenge thing that he's getting caught up in. Normally, he's the one that's the hero, but now he's mixed up with some shit. He's like, look, this ain't my fucking fight. <laughs> I don't want to do this. True. Yeah. This, this is when hoes attack. You know what I mean? All this could have been solved by a few pleases. And yeah. thank yous. Yeah. You know, I like the way you sucked that dick today. Good job. <laughs> High five. High five. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, 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 not no, here. No, not here. Not here. Come on. <laughs> Look, I can understand. Don't want to know who you are. I can understand the whole thing of uh, I don't want to know what's in that that package right there. But this whole thing about it, I don't like being late. Fuck that, because this dude's almost always late. You know, because in every movie. He, he usually sets everything aside. He does plan a little early. Like he's usually on time because usually his day consists of all right, I got to eat, I got to go get some gas. And I got to beat the shit out the dudes who are fucking with my car. Every movie starts out with somebody fucking with his car. In the same parking garage. In the same, same. parking garage. <laughs> same fucking garage. Same thugs. Yeah. You know, it's almost I, like, damn, what, did I beat y'all's ass last week? I have to admit, I never saw the first two movies. Man, same I'm, thing. Same thing. So I'm, so I'm same thing. It's cold. This is my first transporter experience. Excuse me. <laughs> You're gonna make me late. And I hate being late. Damn, he knocked that motherfucker out. Just, just melted Hop to the ground. And shit. <laughs> I can't buy this dude as crying as a fucking transport. Martin, I know this is your this is your first one. But right. but with this, Jason Statham, and the, 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 the movies before this, they've been, for lack of a better word, yeah, stupid. Yeah. I mean, fucking stupid. Yeah. And the thing that just kind of saw you on it a little bit, the thing that just made it kind of squeak by was your boy, Jason Statham, because he had that angry ass face that looked focused. Yeah, yeah. intense and, all the time. Yeah, and it looked like if you didn't o- obey his rules, he could beat your ass. Yeah, well, very I, believable. I think that's the thing that Jason Statham had is that rather than being your traditional good looking hero, I mean, he's not like a handsome guy. He's rugged looking. That looks like a man that's been in a fight before. Oh, yeah. yeah. That other motherfucker looks like a hipster. Well, he, oh, look, he looks like Nicholas Holt the whole time. He I does. Was like, he really are you fucking sure that's does. Not Nicholas Holt? Yeah, you know, that's, he really does look like Nicholas Holt. Hell yeah. And I'm he looking does. at this and I'm thinking, you know, he's the, he's the transporter. This motherfucker's an Uber driver. He does. <laughs> oh, yeah. He looks like an Uber driver. You know, this motherfucker's one of those hipster ass Uber drivers. That's exactly. That, all he's he, missing is the glasses. Yeah, trying to get that <laughs> extra money so he gets dressed up in a suit and yeah. shit. Now, Martin, you say you don't recognize him. You remember this dude from Game of Thrones? Uh, not okay, really. you probably don't. So, original Daria. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. See, once you make a dude look pretty, because yeah. he got that long hair and shit, look like a bitch almost. He you does. Know? It took me about five episodes to realize, oh, that's a dude. You know? <laughs> yeah, that was weird how they switched him out and didn't even, like, acknowledge it. Yeah, yeah. I, watched about, I watched about five episodes of Game of Thrones jacking off to this dude right here thinking, oh, shit, when are you going to show them titties, man? You know? It's like, it's oh, a dude? that's a fucking dude? <laughs> so, so I'm a little biased. Maybe, you know, ever since I've seen him with those nice locks, I don't buy yeah. him as a tough guy. The braid and shit. The one, that one fucking <laughs> that one braid. That one goddamn Renaissance Fair braid. He, he was out of sleepover and had to leave early. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'll tell you this much. The movie did start out with some cool shit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the stuff that they did that's creative. You know, this is one of those Luke Besson movies where, yeah. you know, he loves turning uh, French people into Jackie Chan. Martial right. arts and parkour. And parkour. Speaking of Jackie Chan, there's one part where he's in a room with these drawers and these uh, money boxes. That, this really is some straight up Jackie Chan stuff. It's, 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 it's pretty imaginative. I mean, fucking these dudes up with Ikea shells. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I have to fight in, in an enclosed space like that. That's what makes it, yeah. you know, and gives it tension. And the claustrophobic feel of it yeah. and everything. That's one of the that's that's taken from uh, some of the better parts of the previous Transporter movies, and then there's even a part where they use the car, like they just make him look like a bad motherfucker. You, do you remember when he was like ghost riding the whip? <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> when he got out and, start, and just start whipping people's ass, he, was, he let that car just yeah, glide yeah, yeah, and yeah. Him. I'm, yeah. I'm put the car in neutral on a hill, and y'all don't 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 touch nothing. I was just beat people's ass as I walk along with the car. Well, fuck yeah! You just walk. What? Look at. <laughs> Look at the car. <laughs> they even, even the car like pimp walk. Yeah. Shit, you know? <laughs> shit looks like a music video. Yeah. Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip. Watch me nay nay. Why me do it? Now watch me whip. Car ain't doing shit either. Car well. like, hey man, you need me. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna look pretty. <laughs> Go, goes riding the whip. <laughs> <laughs> they start doing some dumb shit in the movie. It had turned quick. Like, I I don't even have clips for the dumb shit they do in this movie. Like, do you remember the part? Because I just got to explain this. Do you remember the part where a chick got shot in Ray Stevens? Is it Stevens or Stevenson? Stevenson. 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 Ray Stevenson yeah. was in. He, he's a, he told one chick, he said, uh, look, get some uh, tweezers, get some alcohol, uh, you know, vodka, whatever you got. Uh, get some makeup. Oh, and get some cobwebs. Well, the thing is, what he did, he, what he did with cobwebs and, and sugar, that's been proven. That's true. You, okay. You, you, no, 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 no. Somebody no, gets no. shot and like you know, has, has a wound. You can help it with with that. You know, helps uh, cauterize it. And, I mean, not cauterize it, but coagulate the blood. But but Martin, this girl is like shot in a way where it's like you don't recover from that. <laughs> he, he does the sugar and the cobwebs on her. And then the next scene, she walking around like ain't nothing happened. I'm talking about like, like what kind of shot like, is like this? she's beyond oh like gut shot. Oh man, I mean, this is beyond anything that Bruce Willis yeah. or, or Tom Cruise has ever got up and see. What he real? ain't telling you though is fucking ridiculous because <laughs> let's, let's forget the bullet part, right? Because then we see people get bullets pulled out their bodies all the time from shit they won't make it from. He says, "Go get some cobwebs." So she goes to a corner of this warehouse. All of a sudden, this motherfucker turns into a spook house. It's like a haunted house. There's, it looks like the Halloween store. They, I mean, they, it's like, it's like, and they took that Seriously? cobweb ship that they got at the Halloween store and just put that shit in the corner wow. and got that shit. And when she came back, she had a wig. You, it was like, no, it's it's almost like like if I told you to get cobwebs out of the corner, <laughs> right. but you went over to a cotton candy machine and came back with, yeah. with, 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 with I a mean, big, you know, glob of, of cobwebs like this size. Wow. You expected like a ghost to go like, ooh, you know. <laughs> Am I lying, y'all? They saw that shit. Surplus <laughs> cobwebs. They went, went over there with fucking cobwebs like you see at a goddamn the cheap ass haunted house, man. Come on, you know, you dec well, yeah, you yeah, know, know you decorate your shit in the front door Aww. with that fake ass cobweb shit. Yeah. That and once those cobwebs came in, the shit went from like, all right, this is a not a good movie, but it's passable to like, yeah, it's some straight up bullshit. Cause from this point on, the movie really stopped giving a fuck. <laughs> it didn't really give a fuck before. At that point, Jay, uh, not excuse me, not Jason Statham, but Ed Scrine as a transport, he he got into a car, rescues his dad from an airplane. Which, by the way, this airplane plan they had didn't make any sense because when they were gonna do this whole thing. They said, okay, we're going to knock every fucking villain out in the plane. Oh, yeah, but who's going to fucking fly the plane when they are done? After this shit, this motherfucker drives through an airport. He what? drives. I see what you're thinking. Come on, man. He drives through an airport. He's not going to happen. Let's do it. Yay! Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> the shit where the... Well, a car would not even fit, Tommy. Car can't fit through that shit. But this motherfucker not only fits through the walkway to go up to the uh, fucking airport, but he drives through the airport and somehow gets away. Oh, so much for Homeland Security, right? He drives a car through an airport. <laughs> through, through an airport. You can all vouch for this. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, see, no, no, it happens. I'm seeing, what I, the fuck I, is I, that? I'm so glad that because Martin would be like, you're not really being fair. Am I crazy? No. no. That is the most ridiculous shit I think I've ever heard. See, Martin likes this. He kind of enjoyed it, so he thinks I'm being harsh. Well, you are. But the... <laughs> nah. You know what this sounds like? You know what that... <laughs> 
You know what that re- I'm having flashbacks. I'm shell shocked. I'm still having flashbacks. That sounds like some taken three type shit. Don't bing, 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 bing. No. Luke no. Besson. Luke Besson gets to a certain point with his franchises Man. where he doesn't give a fuck. Yes. And this is the this is taken three Come of on. the transporter series. Oh. Taken three got the three and didn't waste no time with that bullshit. At least <laughs> yeah. we got the four with this. But this is fucking ridiculous. Wait, this is this the fourth movie? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Well, then I missed all three of the other transfers. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, now you think that this is decent, you know? Oh no! You, you putting words in my mouth. Even you defending this shit makes me angry, man. <laughs> Come, okay, brother, get, at least give me, at least give me the give, give me the uh, the the jet ski. Give, give me the jet ski. Sorry, if you can't, dumb as fuck. if you can't give me the airport, let's just make a trade and give me the jet ski, people. Wait, which which part of the jet ski am I? Giving? The Jay's. Uh, um, God damn it, keep wanting to call this man. Jason going, Jason Stingham come and beat my ass one more fucking time, yeah. But Ed Scrine gets on a jet ski, rides that shit on land, and somehow manages to position himself and calculating this all in his mind all the while to like crash the front seat of a car that's passing by. From the side. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> By the way, you cannot do that. <laughs> no, you can't. You cannot do that. do that. You ain't gotta convince me, brother. I'm not the smartest I don't man know. in the you world. Said you can't do that, but I'm looking at it happening. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, I mean, I hear your words, but I'm looking at it. My oh. eyes are telling me something different. I guess you think dragon, dragons exist too when you watch fucking Harry Potter and Game of Thrones and shit. Well, well those are uh, fake. Okay, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> this, this shit right here. I've been on a jet and he's ski. He's going. That you can't even ride water like he's riding. The moment you hit it, land, that mother will that, that will flip you the fuck over it is doing not a that moment, shit. I'm, I'm looking at it. It's not a moment he's looking back like, holy shit, I'm driving on land. Yeah, man. No. But, like but, he, but what think the about fuck? It. <laughs> you talking about you doing it. He's a transporter. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he knows vehicles. That's, driving, is his, is, he does that for a living. No, that's, that's not true. More this is why I'm do. so angry at this shit, because that's what they do. It's like, oh, he's a transporter. He can do any fucking thing. Oh. However, you have it free. You have it stopped right at that moment. Like, like I kept wanting to go like, hey, man, what do you want? This is how these things are. But every so often, there was something when I had to, when I had to go like, okay, God damn it. <laughs> oh. And what's coming up next in this next half second yeah. is one of those moments. Please show me. <laughs> No. Oh, people. Come on. The motherfucking levitated. <laughs> angled Rose his, for a moment. A- angled his body to a fucking horizontal 90 degree <laughs> angle and crashed into a front, a front seat of a car. Perfect. Feet first. Feet first. <laughs> did you? With the nice pose. And the mother, yeah. Did he you? posed. I'm on. He did this. He, he, the mother, yeah, he should sure did. He did the lounge what look. What did he do? Rap. He, one more time for those who missed it. I'm going to pause it at that point. Do it. <laughs> Straight chilling. Cruising. He lazy boyed himself. He did. <laughs> Coasting. Boom. <laughs> when did this shit turn to the Matrix? <laughs> this is some JFK assassination shit. It you is. know what I'm saying? Back into the left. Yeah. Back into the left. <laughs> Back into the how the fuck does that magic Come happen? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. When you yeah. said they stopped giving a fuck, I thought, you know, maybe they, you know, the story might have dropped off to just, you know, some complicated shit. Oh, that is absurd. This motherfucker turned into a wizard. All of a sudden. physics. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that boy is badass. Dude. <laughs> This is much more bullshit than Hitman 47. Hitman 47 is it, 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 it's based on a character who they tell you right off the bat he's superhuman. Right. He's bred to be superhuman and do yeah. stupid shit. Right. This motherfucker is not superhuman. There's nothing about him that allowed him to do something like that. that. Entire sequence is awful. Shit, Thor is looking at this shit like, how the fuck did he do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Teach me how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost ride. <laughs> 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 
This shit is dumb. Ed Scrine. Well, I'm saying he might not be a good fit for this because, you know, he's so wiry, but he is muscular and the guy is a good actor and he does have screen presence and he has charisma. I was watching this the whole time thinking, I really want this to work for this guy because he can be a leading guy. They just gave him a bunch of stupid shit to do. And Ray Stevenson in the movie, we talked about him earlier. He's good in the movie. He's an ex-spy yeah. is the thing. But, but Ray Stevenson plays his dad. And that's kind of a good element to have there. It's on a much lower scale, but it's similar to the third Indiana Jones movie, that kind of, oh, yeah. kind of dynamic they have going. I mean, this had been like a movie with not so much stupid shit in it. These guys, they would have made a good film just by the scenes that they Honestly, that they have together alone. That's what, that's what kept me interested in it, was the, 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 the two of them. And what do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I'm sure all your clients are movie stars, captains of industry, dignitaries. Well, I don't ask, they don't tell. I should tell you something. Oh, look, uh, Miss Unknown is calling again. You know, that's the thing that's good about it, because he just fucks with him yeah. through the whole movie. <laughs> that's, like, that's always fun to yeah, watch. He, yeah. just, he just fucks with him. He's just trying to do his thing, and this guy just won't let up. Is it Make you think the Unknown is a miss? I'm just guessing. Hello? This is the transporter. <laughs> look at him. He's like, hey, let me holler at him. <laughs> hey, hey, girl. He's like, shut the fuck up, man. You don't go that level of dumb. Right. I mean, we can go, I mean, look at some movie. We don't expect to be in reality all the time, yeah. but the levels they go to to, ju to just make this as stupid as it is, <laughs> it's more frustrating because there is good elements in there. Yeah. But they don't know when to fucking stop. They don't know when to pull back. They don't know when to pull back. <laughs> I, I couldn't help but feel like they were trying to anticipate the audience that was coming to see it. They're like, listen, nobody who likes smart action movies is coming to this. It's people who want to see it, it get wild. And so we got to throw that in there. Well, that's the thing. Because that, that, it was how like, it would like coach for a bit and like somebody came in and said, like, hey, man, pump it up. Yeah, but if that happens, that wouldn't be realistic. Don't care. Pump it up. That's what people want to see. The story elements in there, like the, the girls in the movie, the prostitutes, yeah. we don't, they, they, again, they make the mistake of talking too much because... Oh. If, they, we, if we didn't know about these girls, nice we alone. could just be like, okay, well, you know what? We don't know how they became, how they are. They've been in prostitution since the age of 12. And they just now decided this last couple of years to go against their, their, their pimps. And all of a sudden, they happen to be hackers, expert hackers. They happen to be super spies. These girls right Super hoes. They, since they, they, since they overcomplicate things. All they've known since they were 12 is sucking dick. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, they're yeah. expert hackers. In the movie, by the time the end, the end of the movie comes around, they got the transporter's bank account. They got their mama's bank account. They got their friend's parents' bank account. They got your bank account information. They got mine. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, man? Hey, when did they have time to learn this? Now, if you can't guess, people, this is some bullshit. I mean, this is some straight up bullshit. I could have given this uh, a rental. Yeah. I was about to, but you want to take it there? <laughs> you know, you want to go that far? <laughs> you want to be that goddamn dumb? Fine. <laughs> you ain't going to drag me down with you, though. This is, this is bullshit, man. I still give it a rental. And usually I, I think of bullshit when I'm sitting there the whole time. I'm like, man, I just n nothing here is, is working for me. I just took it as, hey, this is one of those low rent action movies that they know appeals to a certain audience, and it had more of the stuff I like in it than I would have expected. But there is a point, like by the time you get to the third act, it is like, man, I'm gonna give you all the rental, but <laughs> you, you're really pushing it, and you're pushing it more and more and more. Yeah. So I mean. It's somewhere between a, a low rental and just a rental, but yeah, I I was I was never angry at it. For Martin, Martin probably got laid or something. You know, Martin, you know, on every other day, it's one of those Martin got laid movies. You know, any other day, Martin would have been like, "Yeah, this bullshit." But Martin, something good happened to Martin today. Walking out of the theater, skipping and shit. I, just, I, I didn't expect much. <laughs> Martin, I, was, I, I expected much worse than what I got. You, you, I like you won fifty dollars at the lottery or something. You know, I don't know. <laughs>